Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2. So our task today is to get uh, some sort of basic uh, gun system working. So to begin with, let us make a simple little gun graphic, uh, just out of default cubes. I'm going to create an empty game object first of all, just call this gun. Um, just position this uh, maybe in the center. Uh, let, me, let me actually drag it out over here. And I'll create a cube. Just going to drag it under the gun object and just put it at 0, 0, 0. And I'll delete the box collider. And let's also just give it a nice metallic uh, material. So something dark gray like that should do fine. I'm just going to go into side view perhaps here and just scale this down. Really just want to get it to a gunny type shape. I'll maybe duplicate, rotate, uh, create some sort of handle. Yeah, that should be fine. Duplicate that and make some sort of magazine. Okay, clearly the graphics don't matter very, very much at this point. Just something recognizable as some sort of firearm. All right. So, now that we've got that, uh, I'd like to organize all of these cubes under one object. I'll call that the graphics of the gun. Just put that in there. Alright. So now, let us go into our scripts folder and create a new c -sharp script for our gun. And let's also create a c -sharp script called a gun controller. So the gun controller is uh, just going to manage things like equipping the weapon. Um, we could do that in the player script, but uh, if, for example, later on we decided that we wanted our enemies to also be able to equip guns, then uh, it makes more sense to separate it out into the gun controller script. So let's open that up and uh, let's create a public void called equip weapon, or equip gun rather which takes in a gun which we can maybe just call gun to equip. All right, so we can maybe store our currently equipped gun in a variable called equipped gun. So when we want to equip the new gun, we can say that the equipped gun is equal to, and we'll instantiate this new gun, so gun to equip, um, just like that. Uh, we should probably first check if there is a currently equipped gun, and if there is, then destroy it before we uh, create a new gun. So we can say if the equipped gun is not equal to null, then destroy equipped gun dot game object. All right, and then we instantiate the new one. Let's also just create a public transform variable up here which we can call maybe our weapon hold, something like that. So what our player should have is a empty game object, um, which we'll call the weapon hold. And this is basically like the, the sort of position of the hands of the player uh, when it's holding the weapon. So we'll, we'll be in instantiating the weapons at this position. Okay, let's, uh, let's add the gun controller script to the player object and just assign the weapon hold variable um, over there. So now when we instantiate the new gun uh, for its position, we can give it weapon hold uh, dot position and weapon hold dot rotation. We should also probably make the gun a child of the weapon hold so that it moves with the player. So we can say equipped gun dot transform dot parent is equal to the, equ uh, not the equipped gun, is equal to the weapon hold. All right. How about we allow, um, allow ourselves to assign a starting weapon. So public gun starting gun. And in the start method, we can say that if we have assigned the starting gun, so in other words, if the starting gun is not equal to null, then we'll call equip gun starting gun. All right, let's test this out. We can go into Unity, and uh, I'm getting a 
error here. So um, this this instantiate returns an object, and um, we are setting a variable of type gun. So we just need to cast this object to a type of gun by saying uh, instantiate it as gun. All right, that should fix the error. Um, let's create a new folder to keep our game prefabs in, since we are going to have our first prefab now, which is this gun over here. Let's uh, drag it in. And now that it's a prefab, we can safely delete it from our scene. And if we go into the player, um, we can assign this gun as our starting gun. Let us see if this works. Press play, and we're now holding a gun. We can run around with it. We can't shoot yet. We'll get to that in a moment. But uh, the instantiation is working, so that's nice. Okay, so let's give our gun shooting capabilities. Um, we'll want to create a new C-sharp script for the bullets. Um, I'm going to call it projectile to be a little bit more general. And uh, let's open that up. And all we want the projectiles to do for the moment is uh, to just move forwards. So in their update method, we can say transform dot translate. Oops, dot translate vector three dot forward multiplied by time dot delta time multiplied by the speed. And uh, we can just create a little speed variable over here. Maybe set that to 10. And uh, probably different weapons will want to shoot projectiles at different uh, speeds. So let's just create an easy way to assign to the speed a uh, little method public void uh, set speed takes in a float new speed. And we can simply say that the speed is equal to the new speed. All right, that's all we'll be doing in our projectile class for the moment. Um, let's go into the gun script. And uh, let's see, delete all of this. And first of all, we, we'll want to know um, the sort of position of the muzzle where the sort of where the projectiles are going to be shot from, um, so that we can instantiate them there. So let's create a public transform, maybe just call it muzzle. And we'll also want to know which projectiles are we shooting. So public projectile, can just call it projectile or bullet. We also want to know the rate of fire of the weapon. Instead of uh, having a rate of fire, I'm just going to call it the milliseconds between shots. And uh, maybe I'll set that to a default of, say, 100 milliseconds between each shot. Um, and um, let's also public float muzzle velocity, which is just the sort of speed at which the bullet will leave the gun, and can maybe set that to 35 by default. All right, so having uh, created all of these variables, let us uh, create a, a public void shoot. And uh, when we shoot, we're going to want to instantiate a new projectile. So we can say uh, projectile, new projectile is equal to instantiate projectile. And for the position, we'll of course give the, uh, the position of the muzzle and the rotation of the muzzle. And don't forget to say as projectile so we don't get angry error messages again. And then we can simply say new projectile dot set speed and we'll pass in our muzzle velocity. Great. So at the moment, if, if we were to um, call this uh, method when the player's, uh, for example, their left mouse was pressed down, um, it would shoot a bullet every frame. And obviously we don't want that. We want it to be shooting every uh, however many milliseconds we have assigned to this variable. So let's create a new float um, called something like the next shot time. And uh, over here, we'll say that we can only shoot if the current time is greater than the next shot time. And having just shot, we will set the next shot time equal to the current time, so time dot time, and we'll add on to that however many seconds there are between shots. So to convert uh, milliseconds 
uh, two seconds. We just need to divide that by a thousand. All right, so now we want to get some input working. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's just go into our gun, drag it back into the scene so I can uh, quickly add a, um, a little empty child to define the, uh, the sort of point of uh, exit for the projectiles. I'll call this um, maybe my, my projectile spawn. And I'll drag that into the muzzle uh, field over there. And we also want to create a projectile. So I'll just uh, make this little cube. To judge the size, I'm just quickly going to uh, put it over here. So maybe somewhere around that size. All right. And I'm going to remove the box collider. We don't need that. And I'll also create a new material for it. I uh, just call this bullet, add it there, can maybe make it a darker gray just to differentiate. All right, can call this bullet. And uh, I'm going to add that bullet as a new prefab and delete it. Okay, so going onto the gun, we can add the bullet to the, oops, we can't add it yet because it does not have the uh, projectile script attached. So now we can add it. And let's apply all of these changes to our gun prefab and delete it once again from our scene. Okay, let us delve into our player script. And uh, just to organize things a bit, I'm going to add some comments over here. I'm going to say that this is my movement input. This is my uh, look input, and over here is going to be my weapon input. Okay, um, so we need to get a reference to our gun controller. So let's say gun controller, we can call it gun controller, and over here, gun controller equals get component type of gun controller. Okay, so in the first episode, I said that it was a good idea to, uh, if, if we just assume that gun controller is attached to this, that we should add this require component uh, thingy up here. So let me um, be consistent and do that again, gun controller. Okay, so over here in our weapon input section, we can say that if the input dot get mouse button uh, zero, which is the way of saying the left mouse button is currently being held down. Then we can call gun controller dot shoot. Okay, so gun controller dot shoot doesn't exist yet. So let's go over here, public void shoot. And all this does is it, uh, let's say it first of all checks if there is a, a weapon currently equipped. So we can say if equipped weapon is not equal to null, then equipped weapon dot shoot. Okay, let's go into Unity and test out what we have so far. So press play, weapon equipped, hold down mouse, and we can shoot, pew, 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 pew. Awesome. Um, if I go into my gun, let's test that these things are working. Uh, say I turn down my muzzle velocity all the way to something like three, the bullets do indeed fly very, very slowly. If I sort of um, increase the milliseconds between shots, that seems to be working as intended. If I bring it all the way down to say like 15, yeah, it shoots very, very fast. Okay, great. So, oh, that's actually really pretty. Um, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, in, in the next episode, we will be doing what exactly? Um, probably, probably we'll be starting some work on some enemies. So, hopefully, see you then. Cheers.